Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're doing another crisp or chip from Aldi. Yes, this is braised beef short ribs. We recently Flavor. tried another chip from there. Oh. That spoiler alert. I'm not going to tell you how good it was. But. <laughs> one of our favorite chips we've ever tried from there so uh, i can't wait to see if this one yeah is just as good or yeah. it could be better so these are clancy's brand these are crinkle cut braised beef short ribs kettle chips and it says they are a savory, slow-cooked flavor. So, the other ones we tried were exactly the same as far as also crinkle cut yep. and uh, kettle. kettle, which we've had uh, very good luck. We've liked chips very much that have had both of those things, including the last trip we tried. Yeah. It was the same way, so we'll see. Yeah, hopefully we'll it's see. got the same crunch and everything. So That's right. Clancy's brand is doing their thing. My yeah. boys. Um, 150 calories in 12. Chris. Ah, same as the other one. Mm -hmm. Does it smell as good? No. It doesn't. No, it just smells like. It doesn't smell as, uh, the smell is not as defined. Or yes, whatever. Indeed. It smells like chips. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's get in here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, here's a perfect one. Here we go. All kinds of junk on it. Yeah. Ready, go. We have eaten a lot of chips on our channel. We don't get a lot of meat chips here. Mm -mm. Uh, so I never want to discourage anybody from making them. Yeah. These, if you had never had a meat crisp before, would be very good. Yeah. I don't think they're my. I'm just going to tell you my opinion. I don't think they're bad, but they are not knock you over the head delicious the way the other ones were in my opinion i concur um i definitely think that these taste like beef it's not just you know how sometimes when you eat um a meat crisp let's say um we've had a couple of pringles that were a bacon cheeseburger flavor or whatever yeah. i'm just using them as an example sorry pringles but um you can kind of tell that there's a meat in there, but it you can't really decipher what meat it is. You can definitely tell this is beef, and the yeah. other chip you can definitely tell is pork. I think they did a good job with that. The flavor that I initially got when I took a bite was kind of like, um, it was rib-esque, you know? It did taste yeah. like a beef rib, but it tasted to me like a beef rib with barbecue on it. And not necessarily a braised rib, but yeah, I mean, it I, is good. I think it's a good flavor. I think um, I will have no problem finishing up this bag of them, mm. but it's just not the wow factor to me that the pulled pork ones were. Yeah, it that that's right. This is kind of hit and miss. I just had one that was delicious, very flavorful. Some of them were not like that, so. Yeah, but when but when I did taste the flavor, I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. oh, I liked yeah. it. I liked it very much. But the other one, um, we rated a very high, very high. You'll have to go over and watch that video if you haven't seen it. How would you rate this one? Rank this mm. one. Scale of one to ten. Ten being we better get all the bags of these next time we're Aldi. Yeah. One being eh, that's probably going to be a squirrel's dinner. I will probably give it seven and a half. Okay. I think I'm a seven. 
with it. Better than average, yeah. but just we've tasted so many amazing chips and meat chips in in particular right. that it just doesn't stack up, but it's still very good. You have me over to your house at, for a barbecue and you're serving these, I'm eating them with no problem. Yeah, listen, there's nothing wrong with this. It tastes really good. I think our issue is we just finished with the pulled pork <laughs> yeah. chip and it like blew our socks off. Yeah. So, we're just a little disappointed with this one because of how wonderful, excuse me, the other one was. Yeah, but I think, uh, okay, so we're going to Aldi tomorrow, let's say. Yeah. Are you, I know you want to get more of the other ones. Are yeah. you going to want to buy these again? I don't know. I think I might have to snack on them some more tonight. Maybe we'll put in the comments or I'll comment and say what I think, but. Here's where I am. Um, I... If they have the other ones in stock, I would probably buy the other ones. Mm -hmm. But if they had these and maybe versus plain or versus cheese or versus versus the Nashville hot chicken, I like this one better. Yeah. And some of the other ones. So it depends on what it's um, you know sold next to. But if it's against the pulled pork sandwich, I'm going that direction. Me too. So anyway, good little chip. Let us know in the comments if you have tried it. Always make sure if you are out in the wild at Aldi and you see something that you would like to see us try, uh, you can definitely get a hold of us on social media. We have a Facebook, we have an Instagram, yeah. we have an email that's in our description box if you're curious what our address is or our email address that's in our, de our description box. Yeah, or leave us a comment in the video. And that's right. But I don't think they can attach pictures oh, and stuff right. and tag us. So if you're following us on Facebook and Instagram, definitely do that. Also, sometimes you will send us a message, but you can tag us on Instagram if you have found something cool or you made something neat for dinner that you want to share with us. We love that. We love when you tag us and stuff. So feel free to tag away. Uh, now, if you love Aldi or braised short ribs oh that's one of our favorite that's all i want <laughs> in the whole dang world time to make it uh or trying new chips and crisps yeah or us or the video give this video a big thumbs up it really yep. helps our channel and that's all we have for today see you next time uh, take us bye bye